Hello Ratbags, this Joe Plays Games, welcome to a special access show. Today we're going to be taking a look at Day Z. You know I've been enjoying the game, the views have been going through the roof, hitting 42,000 views on the first Let's Play video, the second and third Let's Play videos are going mad and the live streams are getting thousands of views. You guys are loving me playing Day Z. But not everyone is loving Day Z. They don't know about what Day Z really is. It may have been around for a long time, but it's changed so much and had so much happen. What is DayZ currently right now? What's going to happen when it launches on the Xbox One? And is it coming to PS4? There is a bunch of questions I think need answering, particularly from doing the live streams, so many people asking the same stuff. So this video is going to give you everything you need to know about DayZ. Currently where it's at on PC, what's going on with the Xbox version launch, and what's happening with PS4 in the future. We'll also be touching on full release, when to expect a rough roadmap of what's happening with the beta version of the game, and we'll be going over some core differences and, what, in my opinion, what DayZ is and how it plays at the moment. This isn't a gameplay guide tutorial, I'm not going to be showing you how to utilise weapons or items in the game, but I will be going over key differences between the PC version, what to expect in terms of animals, vehicles, and overall, whether or not DayZ is going to be right for you to jump in while it's in early access or even when it's full release. So come with me, it's Joe Plays Games, it's the Access Show, let's go. So straight off the bat, don't know, DayZ launches on Xbox One on the 29th of August. Currently right now, the version running that you've seen me play and others play is a special behind the closed door beta for Xbox. 5,000 invites went out to people that signed up for it. I was lucky enough to get a code a couple days before that by the devs themselves. This has really given me a good opportunity to get to play DayZ, which I've never played before. DayZ is a very, very hardcore experience. There's no getting away from that. If you thought Ark and Conan was quite difficult to survive, DayZ is taking that to another level. At its heart, the main thing you're going to be focusing on in DayZ, the very first stage is getting used to stuff, is just surviving. Food and water is really crucial, and I think not a lot of people really are looking at it that way. DayZ is also a bit of a lonely experience. The servers can hold up to 60 players on the Xbox One. And when you hear shots and hear other players running around and you come across them, you do seem to think there's lots of people around. But the map is massive. Where everyone starts usually on the same sort of coastal areas, you will come into more noobish players or people just starting out. But once you get inland more, you quickly become realising that the game is just massive and a lot of the time you will be running around on your own. I think that's important to tell you guys and let you guys know. I will be covering negatives as well as positives. But for me, that isn't a negative. I quite like the idea of surviving in the game. Getting food, getting water, making sure I'm hydrated is crucial. Of course, you will run into other players. And that is another core aspect of what DayZ is. It's the interaction between you and other players. Zombies aren't really that much of a problem. You can pretty much run away from most of them. And unless you get really unlucky with a swarm or surprised, you can take it easy exploring towns and cities and avoid mostly conflict with zombies. They are there to add another layer to give another danger. But the biggest danger is other players, and that's where the most interesting game loops come from. How you interact with people, whether or not they're going to be friendly or foe, is really important if you think you're going to enjoy this game. If you love PvP games, if you've played Rust, or if you've played Ark on PvP servers or Conan, and you really love the idea of jumping on servers, trolling people, levelling yourself up, or getting yourself better gear, then you will like Day Z, but that doesn't mean you're going to run into a player all the time. So that's why I am really enjoying it. The excitement, the intensity of when you come across a player, whether or not he's going to be friendly or foe, is really important. And of course, it is an early access game. There are going to be lots and lots of problems with it being in early access. PC have pretty much beta tested this for the last five years. Why has it taken five years to come out? Well, we could go in for years and days talking about DayZ and the problems it's faced. But I'll break it down in a very quick nutshell. Halfway through development, the person that created the mod decided he didn't want to work for the company. He got employed by the company after showing them the mod he made for the game, Armour. He went on to form his own company and Dean Anthony Hall is now working for himself as making other games. That was nearly three, four years ago now. Since then, Bohemia have been developing the game themselves and it's undergone massive changes. Most notably in the last year alone, switching to a brand new engine. The game needed this, otherwise it would be literally the graphics from 2013. Animations needed work, the way that players moved, pretty much everything got revamped when they switched around with the engine. Now I'm not 100% sure how much of the engine got rejigged, 
but as far as I'm aware, it was a new build, a new type of engine that they switched it all to. Regardless how they've done it, the game does benefit. It looks better, it runs better, and the character animations look a lot better. That's why it's taken so long. Not because the devs didn't care, not because the devs didn't want to publish the game, or they just used it as a cash grab. I see that comment a lot in the comments, and it's a massively overly negative feature. But simply put, the game devs had to rejig the engine. If you're going to release on current console generations and you're going to get your game out of early access, you want it to be the best it can be. And even when the game was being made, it was dated. So in my eyes, that's why it's taken so long. Sure, the developers probably could have done it a little bit quicker. Xbox One and PS4 has been out a number of years now. Undoubtedly, Bohemia did probably pull some resources, but that's the way it is at the moment. DayZ is scheduled to come out on full release later on this year. Now, I'm not 100% sure how accurate that's still going to be. We've had many, many attempts at giving a release date for DayZ that have not happened or are just simply untrue. But in January of this year, they announced their plans to come to full point release. First stage of that would be entering beta phase, and the beta phase is pretty much the completed game, but then just adding more components and features to it. This is where DayZ starts getting a bit confusing in terms of what to expect and what you're going to be playing if you're playing it on the Xbox or in the future on PS4. Currently right now, there are two different server types in DayZ. You have Experimental and you have the Stable. Experimental really do offer some of the brand new features and core experiences come to DayZ, but they do also take away a lot of the features that people are used to while they're trying new stuff out. The idea is that when it launches in beta, they will mix both kind of systems, both features that were missing from the beta that have been in the game a long time and also adding brand new features that they've been working on. This is why you often see in comments videos, it's not the same game. That's because the experimental servers really are not showing everything there is to do with the game. They're showing core features they want to work on. They also have the test live servers as well. Now, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, this is where they also test and stress test stuff. I really want to see how it holds up with lots of players playing on it. And these are highly unstable. During the last few months alone, the more interest I've been taking in the game, I've seen umpteenth reports of problems and issues with the stress test servers and the experimental servers. The Xbox One version currently running and that will launch on 29th of August is one of these stress test server builds. It will be stable by the time it launches. And as you can see from the gameplay, it highlights in the bottom on the left normally, it is running at 0.63. That is the most up-to-date version on PC. There may be some smaller updates or smaller builds that have been implemented to make it 0 0.63, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, but you get the general idea. 0 0.63 is the benchmark for where we're at with DayZ. So, on day one, on 29th of August, you should receive quite an update for the Xbox One version if you've been playing the Close Behind Doors beta. If you're buying it for the first time in the game preview program on Xbox, it will be updated. And this will reflect the same version that's on PC. That's right, it is exactly the same game. They haven't softened stuff, they've not just ported the game over, it is the same game. It's just a case of updating it. And that's why they switched engines too. It makes it easier and quicker to do this so they can keep all three versions running on PC, Xbox and PS4 at the same time. It still may be a few weeks in between, maybe even a month between updates and PC and Xbox, as PC is always going to be the platform that they always update first. But it signifies a good positive approach by the DayZ devs to maintain this. So that's, in my eyes, brief history of DayZ, where we're at currently, what to expect with the Xbox One version when it launches. PS4 is coming. It's been shown at Gamescom lots of times running on PS4 development kits. The devs themselves have mentioned numerous times it's coming to PS4. Of course, PS4 doesn't technically have an early access program. We could talk all day about that one, but PS4, Sony do allow games that aren't completed on their platform. Ark Survival Evolved came out eight months before its full release, and there are umpteenth free-to-play games on the Sony PSN network. So this idea that Sony don't allow early access games is not true. So with a bit of luck, maybe when it approaches beta, hopefully we'll see a release on PS4, but it will be coming to Xbox One first. There is no word exactly when the PS4 release is coming, but judging by the update status they put in January saying that 1.0 release would be coming this year, you can only assume it is going to come to PS4 hopefully by the end of this year. It may come sooner, like I said, if they strike a deal with Sony to release it, We'll have to see and I will keep you up to date. But right now, until that point, you'll only be able to play it on PC or the Xbox. 
So how much is it going to be? Well, on Steam right now, it's $22.99. Normally, the Xbox One game preview program has normally added around £5 difference. Arc came out around the same price, and it ended up being $27.99 on the Xbox One game preview program. Other games have done a similar job as well. So I really do expect DayZ to come out for around $27.99 on Xbox. If it's cheaper than that, whoopee whoopee woo. Let's get into some more details about the game when you load it up if you're buying it on the Xbox. It is going to be 60 players per server. There is always PvP, there is no PvE servers, and your character goes with you. You can jump from server to server with the same character as long as he is alive. So on this map, if I've got the bottle of water in my hand, and I decide to leave this game and join another server, I will spawn in with the same character in the same bottle of water in the same spot. The only way you can stop that is by killing yourself or clicking the respawn button in game. So no matter where you are, you will spawn in that exact same spot on a different server. The controls in DayZ definitely need some work, particularly for Xbox One. The menu system is really not adequate enough in terms of how you combine items and use items. The game has always been a bit of a fiddly game, but on PC it's a lot easier to use a cursor. They maybe haven't added enough shortcuts for console, but the overall UI is quite clean and it is quite uncomplicated. There are plenty of survival games that have struggled to implement their menus and submenus into a console version and it normally ends up opening up page after page. That's where DayZ is pretty good because it's a simple survival game at its core. All your items are on one page and you literally simply have to combine and learn what works with them items. Over the last week they have implemented updates that have improved the UI and taken a good little chance at showing you guys what to do with some button prompts and some control panels. But certainly I do think the control system needs to be overhauled before it fully launches. Something along the lines of Vigor, which I've said multiple times in my streams, I think that could be a good system to try and follow. Or even PUBG implement a system like that. But that's what makes DayZ unique. It really is a very simplistic survival game. Currently at the moment I don't think there is any way to stash any items but it is part of the beta release that they're working on that you are able to dig up and place items underground in a sort of little cache. This will give you the opportunity to go back to your stuff at a later date. So even if you die, there is a chance you can go back to that server and pick up your hidden stuff. However, other players will still be able to see where you have buried that as it will be prominent in the ground. Base building isn't like Ark or Conan, you're not going to be laying foundations down and putting walls up and doorways. It's more about being able to barricade yourself into certain buildings, placing wooden boards against windows, etc. The barricading system is going to be implemented, but as we'll go into a bit more detail later, it might not be completely fully functional at the very beginning when you load it up on the Xbox. There are also some other key features like disease that are going to be coming in, but the current version I'm playing on Xbox doesn't currently have it fully implemented. This is what I've come across from watching other YouTubers talk about it. There may be some slight changes to that and I may have that slightly wrong, but that is generally what I've learned while watching and talking to a lot of other YouTubers. When DayZ launches on beta, it's going to have a bunch of features added to it completely and during the beta period until the full release, it will have more features added. Modding is going to be a big aspect to DayZ and it is going to be fully implemented on PC. However, of course, mods won't be coming to console. I can't imagine them spending too much money or time on that, but you never know. Stay tuned for that one. Part of their plans for the Xbox One and I presume the PS4 versions are it's going to be running at 60 FPS and it will support 4K, just in case some of you are really interested in that sort of stuff. Now let's talk about what features are going to be in the game during the beta. This may really give you an option whether or not you're going to buy it now or wait until the full release. Now 0.63 is the current version that's been on PC a while and it added a bunch of new features and like I said it took away some features. Regardless of what happens, what gets added until full release, some things are going to be coming until afterwards. So if you're a big fan of DayZ, you've kept up to date with information, these are the things you might need to know about not coming to the game until an update after the game has come out. Vehicle modification, barricading, birds, aerial transport, specifically planes, bikes and motorbikes. These features will not be added to the game until after full release. This features list also says that animal companions are not going to be added to the game. It was an idea they tried or talked about in 2015, but they've decided it was just way too ambitious. 
So what you can look forward to on PC and the Xbox version, because remember the Xbox version is exactly the same as the PC version, there will be vehicles added to the game. And yes, helicopters are part of them vehicles that are going to be added before the full game comes out in 1.0. So when DayZ enters its beta, which again is scheduled for some time later on this year, there will be off-road vehicles, V3S, and hopefully during that development time, by the point of full release, they'll have civilian sedans, buses, and a little bird helicopter. In the beta version, there's going to be five handguns, three SMGs, two shotguns, four assault rifles, and four rifles. The bow and crossbow won't be added until nearly full release. There are grenades in the game during the beta phase. Animal wise, there is deer, bull, cow and goats. You also have predators in terms of wolves, which are available in the Xbox One version right now, as are hens and roosters. There is lots of content that may not be in the beta that has been in previous versions of DayZ. And this is where lots of confusion comes from. So if you really want to get a hold or grip of what DayZ is, I really do suggest watching new YouTubers or people that are making fresh new content. You may be left really confused of why certain items of certain features aren't in the game that you're playing on the Xbox, but they are in lots of videos from the past. These features, items and weapons are some of the items and stuff that aren't necessarily in the game just yet, but they were in the game in the past. As you can see, it's quite a big list. Some of these features are still gonna be added into the beta release, and some of them won't be there until after full release. So the whole idea of me showing you that is to show there is going to be lots of content for the game once it foot hits full release. Whether or not they can deliver on that quickly, I don't know. Obviously the past you have to look at what and judge what they've done and development cycle of five years, nearly seven when you take into account the mod, that really doesn't give many people hope and I guess that's why DayZ has got such a negativity around it. But if you look at Bohemia's more recent stuff, look at the way that they updated armor on a good monthly basis, not to mention their brand new game Vigor, Bohemia do seem to be turning the corner in making sure their content is reliable and are keeping people informed about what they're doing. In the last year alone, the DayZ devs have probably been more vocal than they've ever been, talking to people in the terms of status reports every week, giving updates exactly on different core features being added to the game, affected and changed. And this is going to be no different, obviously, even if you're playing it on Xbox One or PS4, because it is exactly the same game. DayZ will face criticism that they're launching on console only just to generate some more money, and it's more of just a cash grab. But Bohemia aren't exactly skint. They have made plenty of money from their armor series, as well as other games like Wildlands. Sure, they're going to make a hell of a lot of money if it's successful, and I think it's going to be. But the idea that they're really just some douchebag devs isn't necessarily that true. You can say they're bad devs for updating the game so slowly or coming to some of these decisions after such a long time. But judging by their recent behaviour, judging by their recent progress, I can only say that Bohemia are doing a fairly decent job. Daisy isn't going to be for everyone. It's going to be lots of lonely moments and you grinding or looting and looking around for items. But that's the thing I love most about it. That moment when you might come across someone. Are they going to be friendly? Are they going to be a foe? That is the crucial element why I want to play DayZ and why DayZ still is relevant seven years after its concept. DayZ is the ultimate survival game in most people's eyes because it started out as being a real good competitor to Minecraft. Not a kiddie version, not blocks, an actual realistic simulation game which had zombies in it. And that's why DayZ is still so popular. That's why I can rack up nearly 100,000 views on DayZ content in the last few months. It's why there's still so many YouTubers out there covering DayZ and why hopefully their channels will begin to flourish again. Because it is one of the original games. It does offer something different and on console we don't have these type of games available. Sure, there's plenty of PC games at the moment being hot. You've got Scum coming out which looks to try and implement and make loads of core features that DayZ have promised over the years but do it better and do it in a more advanced role. So DayZ's definitely got some competition but on console there is still a real lack of games like these. The real only two big survival games out there are Ark and Conan and they are very very different from what DayZ is. Until Rust finally gets officially announced for Xbox One and PS4 with a release date or we might see something like The Forest come, there really is no other games like these. The Long Dark is probably the nearest you'll come to a really fantastic survival experience. But of course, 
some people want that multiplayer aspect. So there you go, that's in my eyes what you need to know about it coming out on Xbox One. I'll give you information about some of the core features, the servers, and a rough guide to how much it will be. And hopefully I've filled you in a little bit on History of DayZ, what to expect with content up throughout the release of it being on Early Access, and when it might come to PS4. Of course, all that can change. I'm only simply reiterating all the stuff I read in the last few months. But I plan to cover this in a big way. So if you want to keep up to date with Daisy on the console and see the features that are coming, make sure you subscribe to me. Make sure you've got notifications turned on. Make sure you come join our Discord where we've got Daisy server talking all just about Daisy, finding people to play with. I am Jay Plays Games. I will see you, Ratbags, in Chinaris very soon.